Yo guys, what's up? It is the implementation of the build we saw from tutorial 4420, uh, our Bronze League Heroes episode. And this guy actually did a build that I've never seen before, and I'm going to copy it. So it starts with a crypt, and then I'm just going to improve upon it, but I'm going to roughly do the plan that he was doing. So it's a crypt into a tomb of relics, which is very strange. And then he made his ziggurat too early um, and he stayed on four acolytes too long. I can make it better, but there is a concept. There is an idea to his strat, which is pretty sick. So basically, uh, you may say, hey, it makes no sense to have a tomb of relics when you don't have an altar yet. And that's what I said. And I watched it twice. And the first time I watched this game, I didn't even fully get it. Like, I didn't really pay attention to his build. Maybe I was looking at the other player. But then actually, the second game, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt and saying that, again that the build sucks, but that if it is with intent, the build, then the intent would be to rush back back. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it, uh, that there was actually a sense to it, because he was rushing back back. And summoning is complete. <laughs> summoning is complete. My life Let's get back back upgrade. Hold on, this is important. I wish only to serve. I cannot. So he rushes uh rod of necromancy. So that he can get uh, Rod of Necromancy on its ghouls and support his pit lord. Uh, let's see, 1420. Very soon we send our ghouls to creep the center. Okay, we got Rod of Necromancy. Let's go creep. I do think that he brought too many ghouls to the middle of the map, which actually makes your tech a lot slower. His tech was like a 3 minute 50. There's the pit lord, and now we're gonna give Rod. His uh, fiend just kind of passed us. What? what? Oh my god, the cleave actually aggroed the laboratory camp. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Oh, he also went for a tavern hero. Sick. Yeah, yeah. Go mess with the mud golem. <laughs> he got slowed. Hey, we can surround the fiend now. <laughs> he got bolder too. And we're stealing the creep. <laughs> he got slowed. What a foolish ploy. Pitiful. I went bouldered. What a foolish <laughs> ploy. You failed to abuse me. That's awesome. All because of the cleave. Oh, life drain. Cool. You failed to abuse me. I have failed at all. No, you have done very well. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. What a foolish That never boy. happened to me before. What Let's buy a circuit. I go to this. Go to destroy. Oh, the ghouls didn't come over yet. Very advanced strat. Imagine if Dark Ranger first with Life Drain was the meta, and we just countered it with some uh, kind of weird cleaf pool. Wouldn't that be weird? Pitiful. What a foolish ploy. What trickery is this? You fail to amuse me. Ah, ah, before me. Eight you factor, yeah. Me. What is your Might as well use a little bit of mana there. So, tutorial always goes for a tier 2 expansion. Uh, and then he ends up going mass boneyards. DK second, a lot of boneyards. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, this is a very opportune time to play Pitlord because we just did a Pitlord uh, spotlight on Grabby Talks. 
These days I do a special micro to send my units home. I use backspace to go to my to go to my black citadel. A uh, pretty well uh, done timing for TP. Oh, almost lost this feed. Guess we're gonna take his expo. Upgrade. DK. So you should attack whoever has no armor, and then uh, cleave splash people that have armor, because cleave ignores armor. But no matter what, you should focus on attacking wherever you can get the best spread. Pitord loves a good spread. DK coming. Go solo pit. We could do that. We could do that, but we're copying tutorial right now. Let's see, when could I, at the earliest, make a gold mine and then run? And still live? Like, does this actually work? And then we run? Oh no, help! Help! Oh, that, that was actually really well timed. That actually worked. That was close. You were close! And the gold mine did take some hits, so it's it's not that nice, but it works. You failed to abuse, you failed to abuse me. What did your feeble What did your feeble request? What trickery is this? We do need four ghouls at all times on Lumber to be able to afford all this. What is your feeble request? What trickery is this? Waste my time. I wish only to serve. I think he made slaughterhouse, but I don't really remember seeing him use it. You're missing the boots? He only got boots after he failed to chase once. I believe it's an adaptive part of his plan. What I did forget is a town portal on my death knight. It's a very important tutorial 4420 build. Pitiful. What a foolish ploy. My life has some of Greetings, friends. Yo, Zorik, thanks for the prime, dude. Welcome to the Grubsters. My ghouls were chopping tree. More gr more grenade. The grief cleave. What? What? What grief? I don't see no grief. The boneyard explosion. What is the tree is this? This upgrade. My rank. What is your feeble? My rank. My fate is seen. Uh, 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 I wish I was to serve. 
High rolls? Uh, pretty, I wouldn't say Quelthalos is a high roll. It's nice to get attack speed, but Pitlord is only ranked 13 out of 24 heroes and being able to utilize attack speed. So I uh, am opined that Belt of Giant Strength would probably be better for him. Of course, the Tome of Strength plus 2 was nice. Sobia Manipult? Uh, Sobia Manipult were nice, yes. That's true. He sees it. Oh god. He sees the boneyards. Alright, Monastar. Alright, it's pretty it's pretty pretty good. Pretty good item. It's not gonna end jail. We got cleave level three. Give this to Death Knight. We're a little low on lumber. Getting one more attack upgrade. I thought almost no one played this game anymore. I'm the only one. I'm playing the other side too. What trickery is this? You fail to amuse me. So are you gonna lie or not? I'm not gonna tell you. It's a secret. Okay, we're getting the final upgrades while saving up on 50. I wish only to serve. Now we have Orb of Corruption. What do we put away? Let's just give... Give uh, TP. Though Orb of Corruption doesn't do much in particular on uh, Bitlord. There's no virtuous synergy. As much as he ignores defensive armor, he also doesn't utilize aggressive armor debuff. So, I guess I could, might as well just, uh, well, I'm just going to keep it on Pitlord. He is the tank. It's much harder to apply auto attacks with uh, Death Knight. Why build a base at the expo? Well, you don't have to, but you notice how I have 10 more population that I can max out. It might as well be an Acropolis. It's slightly more expensive than a Ziggurat, but it now gives me the option to uh, take there, uh, to TP there as well. Oh, his DK is having a bad time. Uh, Pitlord Cleave is pretty sick. Wait, I can still scroll him. Dark Ranger. Jesus. Plus 30. He's doing 83 damage. 90% of it gets cleaved, ignores armor. So, you're actually doing so much more damage on a hero if you don't attack them, but you splash on literally anything else except your own units. Cleave doesn't apply to self. Would be sick if it did. But I think it does apply on Critter. Let's see if it... It should apply on Critter. By the way, if air units attack something in Fog of War, they stop for a while, for a long time. It's a weird bug. It's always been that way in Warcraft 3. Goal. Kill DK. Oh, wait, what did he die to? Oh, the fiend attack. He can't repair. He 
because of the frozen breath. Such an OP upgrade. GG, almost level six. We're not gonna get it. Strategy implemented. Pretty cool, pretty sweet actually, right? You got a creeping plan, you got a late game plan, an expansion plan. It's got all the elements of something that would work just fine in bronze. And uh, the rod of necromancy brought to the tavern hero, that's cool. GG. Yo, Stephanus, thank you, dude. Tell me this. Cheers.